Hello everyone. My name is Zamog. I am pursuing my final year B farm in Bapuji Pharmacy College, Daungere. Mm, I am going to discuss the various topics of the chemistry and the biology. Please watch till the end, like, comment, and share the video. Today I am going to discuss the topic that is the antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs. These are the drugs that are used in the treatment of the various infections that are caused by the virus. You are watching the virus. The structure of the virus is like this, in which the virus it is having the single layer of the capsid, and it is consisting up of the genetic material that is either made up of the DNA and RNA. In most of the cases, it is usually made up of the RNA, and. Uh, the different viruses are present in which it is having the single layer or the single outer layer that is called as the capsid capsid is the covering of the virus next we are moving to the life cycle of the virus in which the virus the infection is caused by the virus the virus will adsorb to the cell for example number of the cells will be present in our body the virus will go and it will adsorb it will attach it will bind to the cells once it is attached or bind to the adsorbed to the cells it will penetrate into the cells the virus it will penetrate into the cells how it will penetrate uncoating of the capsid and entry of the viral genome into the host cell the capsid that is the outer covering that is present of the virus it will get ruptured it will get open it will get uncoated and the viral genome that is dna or rna that is genetic material that is present it will enter into the host cell next transcription formation up of the mrna from the viral genome mrna messenger rna will be formed from the viral rna or the viral dna for example here rna is taken so formation of mrna from the viral rna this process is called as transcription Next step is the translation, replication up of the DNA or RNA, viral DNA or the viral RNA that is present it will get replicated, duplication, multiplication and the viral RNA DNA are present and the outside cap capsid that is the covering will be formed and they will get assembled that is assembling up of the DNA into the outside capsid and they will get released by the budding. This is the life cycle of the virus. The different type of the virus are the RNA virus and DNA virus. The various examples are noted down. That is rhinovirus which causes cold, rotavirus which causes the diarrhea, picoma virus which causes the polio and these are the example for the RNA virus and DNA viruses such as the herpes virus, pox virus and papovirus. Mechanism of action by inhibition of the particular enzymes almost all of the virus will act by inhibiting up of the particular enzymes enzymes are the biocatalyst in which they will increase the rate of the reaction if the enzymes are not present the main reactions will not occur if the reactions will not occur then the products will not be formed in which it will cause us the various disabilities classification up of the antiviral drugs uh, there are six classes of the antiviral drugs that is purine nucleoside and nucleotide, pyrimidine nucleoside and nucleotide, adamantane derivatives, thiosemic carbazones, interferons and ribavirin. The first class is the pyrimidine nucleoside and nucleotide. Example is the iodoxyuridine, trifluoridine and zidovudine. Second class is purine nucleoside and nucleotide. Example is acyclovir and valacyclovir. Third class is adamantane derivative, example is the adamantane hydrochloride. Fourth class is thiosemic carbazones, that is methimazone. Next interferons, that is interferon 1, alpha A and azathimidine. Miscellaneous example is ribavirin. Acyclovir, acyclovir, the, it is one of the pure nucleotide in which the structure of the acyclovir is shown here. Acyclovir is also called as the suicide inhibitor because it will terminate the DNA template which is consisting up of the acyclovir and it will act as a ligand and bind to the DNA polymerase enzyme and inactivate it. It is irreversible in nature. 
the mechanism of action is shown here in which acyclovir it will act upon the thymidine kinase then the active acyclovir will monophosphate will form next it is acted by the gonosin monophosphate kinase next acyclovir diphosphate is formed in which again the phosphate kinase enzyme will act acyclotriphosphate is formed in which it will act on the dna polymerase enzyme in which it leads to the dna chain termination it also act on the deoxygonosin triphosphate in which it leads to the dna chain termination uses it is effective against the herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus main advantage is that uninfected human cells are unaffected by the drug many of the drugs which causes the or which affects the all the cells but acyclovir only acts upon the infected cells but uninfected cells remain unaffected by this and it is highly effective against herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus zidovudin zidovudin the structure is shown here and it is the analog of the thymidine means the main nucleus it is consisting up of the thymidine ring mechanism of action is same as acyclovir that is it forms the zidovudin phosphate diphosphate triphosphate it will act on the reverse transcriptase enzyme rather than dna polymerase enzyme we discussed that acyclovir only acts upon the dna polymerase enzyme but zidovudin it will act upon the reverse transcriptase enzyme it is highly used in the treatment of the hiv infections that is hiv or the aids infection human immunovirus it is highly effective hence zidovudin it is used in treatment of the hiv that is human immunovirus infection idoxouridin it is another example for the pyrimidine nucleoside and nucleotide in which the main difference between the idoxouridin and zidovudin is that the methyl group at, that is present at the substituted at the side it is replaced by the iodine and three nitrogens that are present at the end of the zidovudin it is replaced by the hydroxy group oh group idoxouridin in which it inhibits the dna polymerase enzyme as same as the acyclovir it is used in the treatment of the keratitis and the herpes